The Chauncey Hayden Show is sponsored by Stitcher Radio. Listen on the go via the Stitcher mobile app. For more information, go to stitcher.com slash GFQ. Location provided by Sapphire, New York. Visit them at nysapphire.com. You think you have me all down. You think me have me. I will always be one step ahead. Don't hurt me for real. Ah! Ah! Look at her teeth. No, she has fangs. I'm not even kidding. Ah! 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 Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you insane? He wanted to get bit. Hey everybody, it's Chauncey Hayden broadcasting live from the Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in New York City, the world's greatest gentlemen's club. Uh, it's been, I think, 20 years since the last time we actually did a show. That, that's what it feels like. It's been so long. Um, every couple of weeks, I, I see this happening with this show. We get so tired and burnt out that we can't come back. Like, we just get tired. But... I don't think that was the case this time. If you look back over the last couple of weeks, we had the greatest storm of all time on the eastern seaboard, maybe even in the country. Some people compared Hurricane Sandy to Katrina. Oh, it was awful. It's just that white people know how to swim. The only difference is that we didn't have the deaths because most people in this area can swim. In New Orleans, those people can't swim. So when the water went above their heads, they just drowned. They just gave up. They, they, they didn't even have a shot. They just sink. Nothing. They sink like rocks. <laughs> so uh, up here, we float. You know, we're, we float up here. But w- one of the greatest aspects about, and I shouldn't say greatest, it's really the most interesting aspect. Great would be the wrong adjective. Is that the way people died in Hurricane Sandy, as far as I'm concerned, I lost my cable for three days. I almost had a heart attack. That, that was how I suffered during Hurricane Sandy. I went three days without cable TV. But you, you read how people died, and it's fascinating. There was this cop, 26 years old, in Staten Island. The water in his house started rising in his basement. So he took his family, and he moved them to the third floor. Then he went back downstairs to see if anybody else was left, and he drowned. Now, how does a 26-year-old cop drown in his house? I can guarantee you that I would never drown in my house, no matter how much water you put in there. Nothing. I would would step up to the next level of the staircase. And not not look back. I wouldn't even get wet. Like, how how do you drown? At 26 years old, how do you drown in your house? I take baths all the time. I've never come close to drowning, and the water's over my head. I must drown in Mexico. But you you can almost drown in Mexico. You can drown in a lot of places, but have you almost drowned in your house during a rainstorm? No. 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 And he's a policeman. I, 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 and nobody even questions it. They just say, what a sad story. This guy's a hero. He brought his family upstairs, went back down, and he found them. He drowned. I need so much more information than that. I want to know how the hell did this guy drown and in his house? And why he went back downstairs? Didn't he, couldn't he count who was in his yeah. house? And even if you can't count, he must have been a moron. I'm, no offense, I know he's dead and, and, and he died during, you know, saving his family. But come on, count the people that you live with. Be able to count how many live there. And when you go downstairs, when you're in your living room, stand on the dining room table if the water's too deep. Tread water, hold on to something. But don't, you, you, there's no way to drown. How do you drown? Seriously. But, you, know, you know, there's a lot of stories like that. Like um, A lot of stories like that. There was a story that a, a mother and daughter drowned when the, when the water got, like, too high in their living room. They just stayed there. Like, they yeah. didn't even go do they, up. Do they, do, they, do they just not tread water? Do they not take another step up? Stand on the couch. It's almost like they just stand still and let the water go over their head and they drowned. I've never heard anything like it. There were the two little boys. This is such a, a, a horrific story. Two little boys, six or seven, were, were living in Staten Island, and a wave came and killed them. A lot of questions to this story. Number one, why are two little boys like that standing by the ocean during one of the worst hurricanes in history? Ever, yeah. And how, how close do they live to the ocean that they're out there standing by the water? Why aren't they in their bedroom playing Nintendo? Where were the parents? 
Yeah, nobody questions it. Everybody says these poor parents. Oh my God, the storm killed these kids. No, not good enough. Need more info. Why were they by the ocean during the worst storm in our history? Why? Nobody questions it. Nobody asks. People get really weird. Like they, I feel like because we're in New York, we feel like, oh, well, it's not going to happen here. Like nothing, the, nothing oh, bad. Oh, like happen. in Brooklyn, you had two people in their twenties, a, a boy and a girlfriend, walking their dog during the hurricane. A tree branch fell and killed both, and killed both of them. How about the dog? How, the dog. Lived. The dog was hurt but lived. How does that happen? How, do, how does a tree branch fall on your head while you're walking a dog and kill you? That would never happen to me. I that to would walk never my dog. happen you know to me. You know what I did? I had to walk my dog during the storm. I made sure I took the dog in front of my house. Right. And I backed off. And I was done. Yeah. But, but you know what? I, I would never get, I would never, never be in a situation where a tree branch fell on my head and killed me. Never going to happen. Never. It might. No, your, it's your not. Grandfather no, because died you know why? I would sidestep. But like, didn't your grandfather die when a coconut fell on his head? He's an idiot. Okay. He's an idiot too. But a coconut wouldn't fall on my head and kill me. And a tree branch, although there's a better chance of a coconut falling on your head and killing you during an earthquake, because that's unexpected. But when you're in the middle of a hurricane and there's 100 mile an hour winds, I wouldn't be walking my dog under a tree. Because you know why? The tree could fall and kill you. It can. And I, w and I wouldn't drown in my house, and I wouldn't stand by the ocean and let a wave take me out to sea. You know why I'm alive? Because I didn't do any of those things during Hurricane Sandy. You know what I did? I watched TV. I watched every TV show you could imagine, and I'm here today to tell the story. Excellent. We'll be right back after this break. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Chauncey Hayden Show, broadcasting live from the Sapphire Gentlemen's Club in New York City, the world's greatest gentlemen's club, where we do the show from the Boomer and Carton VIP room, where everything happens, but we don't talk about it. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, you might want to bathe in bleach after the Ooh, show. Okay, go through a car wash. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so this is exciting. So, my guest tonight is Elizabeth M from the TV show on VH1, Tough Love. Now, I'm not going to say your last name because I know I can't pronounce it right. So, how do you pronounce your last name again? The V's pronounced like a W, so it's washished. There's no way. Who can say that? Nobody can say that. Just sneeze. Has, has Just any, sneeze. Has no. anybody ever gotten your name right on the first try? Some people. The guys that really want to impress me, they'll like try so hard and they'll go slow so they don't mess it up. Really? So they practice it at home? Like say <laughs> say it again. Wash shit. Wash shit? <laughs> What did you just say? There's an H at the end, then the T. Wash? Washished. Washished. Yeah, my dad blessed me with, you know, an Indian last name. That's Indian. Yes. And yet you don't even look Indian. I don't. You don't. You're the best kind of Indian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> was, was that bad to say? No, I'm, you know what I mean. I like, miss your humor. Like, no, you have, you have like that exotic look without looking too Indian. You know right, what I mean? Exactly, sure. You know what I mean? Like, I don't look fresh there's a mix. Though. Like, your mom's not Indian, obviously. No. Blonde so, hair, blue eyes, Austrian, Jewish, and my What a great mix that is. What do you feel more? Do you feel more Indian or do you feel more normal? I feel, wow. <laughs> well, I definitely don't feel normal, but I feel more Indian. You do? You know, do I you really? the culture. Are you, are you like, uh. I am Jewish, but, like, I'm into, like, Hinduism and. Are you, you really? Know, the Buddhism and more spiritual, you know? No kidding. Yeah. Wow. What. I wonder what your kids are gonna look like. Like know. you could have anything. Like it really depends. It depends, obviously, on who you end up having a child with. But it could be anything because you have such a unique diversity in your genes. I'm gonna you're, give birth to the devil. Yeah, but you're so beautiful. <laughs> you're so beautiful. Like no matter what you do, it's gonna come out amazing. I hope. Fingers crossed. Like you're striking. And really? You I are, didn't you see are, it though. No, you are striking. People don't know this. I, I, I didn't discover you, but I was there in the beginning, right? You you're a Jersey girl. To the fullest, even though I was born in Manhattan. And, and you did, years ago, you were on all the Coors Light billboards on the highways. Yes. And you were a Coors Light girl. Uh -huh. and, and I'm trying to remember how, I, I don't know if you contacted me or I contacted you, but I was working for another magazine back then, and you and your twin sister were so striking, I had to shoot you. I had to photograph oh, you, yeah. right? Yes, thank you. And, and, and how great were those photos? Uh, oh, I, we still have them, Bob. Really? We love them. No kidding. Yes. They, I, I made. I didn't have to try and make you beautiful. You are beautiful, Thank but, you. but I knew, I knew one day that you would become famous. I That's knew so it. Awesome! Wow. 
I never thought, so thank you. And, and you did. You got on this show, this reality show, called Tough Love. It seems like every hot girl in New Jersey is on a reality show. Oh, wow. How, how, did, you get, how did you get discovered? Um, you know what? It's through Facebook and... Wait, um, don't say another word. Andrew, how do you say her name? Wash it. Ooh, you're getting a D. Nope. No? <laughs> nope. Try, try it again. Wash. 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 Shh. Shish. Wash shish. It's not bad, no, right? It's not. No, it's not. No, I swear to God. Like, you can get away with that. Like, a guy can get away with that. If a guy calls you Washish, he's okay. Yes. He's in the ballpark. How do you say it again? Washished. 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 There's like a T at the end. Yes. Shished. Washished. Washished. You left the T out. Washished. There's going to be another quiz in about 15 minutes, so... A lot of people think people think it's German because the V's pronounced like a Washished. W. Washished. Yeah. Yeah. Washished. Washished. I'm yeah, never gonna so forget well, that. I'm never gonna forget I that. I had like a difficult last name. That's Zarian. Like, you know, Z yeah, but like people go Zarian. No, Washish is in a whole different league. No, like know. nobody can say Washish. Nobody gets Washish. Shish. Nobody gets Washish on the first try. You you say that three times fast. Oh, I don't want to. Washish. 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 <laughs> right? <laughs> can you imagine being married to you and not being able to say your wife's last name? Well, that's why I can't wait to get married. I'm gonna change my last name. See, okay. I want a simple last name. We well, we got off topic, but wh why you're bringing that up? Why don't you change your last name? You're you're in showbiz now. You're a reality star. You can't be called Washish and be on TV. I can't, right? No. Oh. Why don't you call yourself just either Wash or Shish? But you can't be both. You can't be Washish. Why not? You can be Elizabeth Ann Wash. Elizabeth Ann Shish. Okay, it kind of flows. But 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 you can't be Elizabeth Ann Washished. Why not? No, it's not gonna happen. You you you're gonna hurt your career. Nobody is gonna put you in a movie if your name is Elizabeth Ann Washished. Unless you Indian yourself up a little more and do the Bollywood Bollywood stuff. Right, right, right. By the way, could you, is there a demand for someone that looks like you that's Indian in Bollywood? I've actually just met with um, some um, manager. I mean, he's Indian and has connections. So we're in the middle of talking really? about different things. There's so many directions I can go right now. And I'm just like... Do Indian men, are Indian men attracted to you or do they despise you? Um, they never think I'm Indian. When I tell them, they're like, yeah, right. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And I can tell them my last name. And they're like, I'm like, I swear, like, let me see your license. And I'm like, I swear I'm not just saying I'm Indian. And they, they literally Do you go for Indian die. men? Um, I never dated an Indian guy. I'm not opposed to oh, it. Oh, that's just bad. Never... See, that's a bad thing, right? Like Indian men would hate hearing that. That's like an Asian woman saying, I never dated another an Asian man. It just, I never, I don't know. I just never came across, like, I don't know. Why do you find him so unattractive? I definitely don't. I was Why? In, no, I was in a five-year relationship and I just got out of a seven-year relationship. So I feel like I'd never had the time to really date. I was always how, in a How Indian would you be willing to date? Like, how far into that world... Could you go and and be happy? Could you get? Could you marry a gas station owner? Totally. Could you marry a quick check owner? Absolutely. Could you marry? <laughs> wow. <laughs> a, a hookah salesman? Why not? It all depends on how he treats me. He really? Could, he could do so they don't. It wants. doesn't matter. No. But they treat their women very submissive, right? Like they're, they're the women are second to the men in that well, culture. You know what? Seeing my father, when I grew up, my father, like if he saw my mom with a mop in her hand, he'd go nuts, he'd grab it out of her hand. He didn't want her working. He wanted Yeah, but you're her. filthy rich, though. Well, they, Why, they it, do okay. I'm not. I'm, I'm just, I'm, you know. But let's, but wait, let's talk about that. You, you, you come from money. There's no hiding that. On the show, they talk about it. Right. On Tough Love. Right. But it's Tough Love in New Orleans. So why is a Jersey girl on a show called Tough Love in New Orleans? Well, every season they pick a different location and right. they want to test you out and how you do in different, you know, areas, cities where the men are. And they were like, let's go to Southern men. And especially, let's see how temptation is because you're in a party town. Right. And let's see how you really do and handle yourself so we can figure you out. You're a fish out of water in New Orleans. Oh my God, I've never been there. I don't. I never really traveled that much. So I'm like, what, what, oh my God. Yeah, and it's muggy and it's hot. We went during, we were filming in the middle of Mardi Gras. So I'm like seeing naked girls yeah. in the streets and I'm like, what the hell's going on? Guys right. are like, take your tops off and we're like... 
But isn't it depressing because uh, you think of Katrina, and I, when I think of New Orleans, I think of all these bloated bodies floating around. Like, I, I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I, and then I think of Brad Pitt, I think of Sean Penn, and they both annoy me. The, <laughs> the, the whole New Orleans thing annoys me. Do you know what I mean? Well, we Spike think- Lee annoys me, the whole documentary on, the whole thing about Katrina annoyed me. How, we were just talking about it at the start of the show. How do you drown? How does anybody drown? Just tread water. Walk, when the water starts to rise, walk to where you can stand. All these people just sat there and drowned. That's crazy. Would you drown if the water was, if the water started rising in this room, would you die? What would you do? I would do, what would you do? I'd take my fist and go right to that window. Right, you, would you would live, you would live. Whatever I you could. Would, if the water started to rise above your feet here, I guarantee you, you wouldn't die. Wow. You'd walk away to where the water wasn't, right? You, you just wouldn't die. These people drowned, and I don't understand how you drowned. I don't. I can see, I can see a rip current in the ocean pulling you out and panicking. Right. That can kill you. I, I that can that I can that. see. I can see the Titanic sinking in the middle of the night in freezing cold water, and you go into shock and you drown. Right. Totally can understand that. If it's raining out, there's no way I'm going to drown. I'm going to stand on something and, or start to walk away where the water isn't until, I, until I'm dry. Right? A tsunami at, can kill you. A tsunami I can understand Look at Petra Nemkova. She held onto that tree for like eight hours. Oh, she exaggerated that whole thing. Oh, no. You know, oh, yeah. That, nothing happened. You know what? I, I would go as far as to say she ripped her own clothes oh, off. Oh, my God. And, 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 and that the way she... I, I think that whole thing was how do I benefit from being near this this big wave? I bet you the wave was never above her waist. Oh my god! I, 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 she's so full of shit. Oh. You don't oh think god. so? You think she really hung on to a palm tree? <laughs> my poor my poor great grandfather had a, a coconut fall on his head and kill him. That's a sad story. That's a real story. Oh my god. This model did not hang on to a palm tree for fifteen hours naked. How do you know that? Oh, because it, it didn't happen. She had her pelvis shattered, she said. Her pelvis yeah. shattered. She seems, she's fine now, right? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, where, 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 where is the whole broken pelvis thing now? She's dating movie stars. It made her career. It actually made her, her career. Right on that map. Nobody cared. Nobody cared, Nobody about, cared about her, right? Before? No. Before? No, it was brilliant. Brilliant. I didn't even know the name. Now I do. Did anybody see? Are there any photos of her hanging on a tree naked? I'll let Google if they have x rays out. Not one. A supermodel is hanging from a palm tree naked for 15 oh. hours, and you're telling me there's not one photo? Everyone, not one? Everyone was drowning. They were all drowned. There's no evidence. Brilliant. I Brilliant PR move. A publicist <laughs> is not getting paid enough money. But anyway, back, back, to, back to you. Okay. All right, so, oh. so you do the show. We stayed at Nicolas Cage's house, and we stayed right in the French quarters. How'd they discover you? How did you get on the show? Okay, so to make a long story short, my friend was actually going to go and um, do a show. And the right. guy needed a couple of girls to go on that he knows. So they asked me if I would go on. This, it was an oxygen show. It was like they were, they were coming up with an idea to do like an island getaway show. So they really didn't know what the premise would really be yet. It right. was just that it was going to be some sort of dating thing in, a, in a, some sort of tropical environment. Right. The show fell through. But the right. casting director always remembered my interview. And he's like, there's something about you. I'm keeping you in mind. I'm like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something about everybody. you is that you're gorgeous. Oh. That, that's something about you is code, by the way, for your stunningly beautiful, I've never seen anyone this hot. God, I love you, Tosi. So go ahead. And then like several I'm months later, yeah, you know, I went through a bad breakup around Halloween last year. And then January 2nd, I get a phone call. It's like, I'm like, hello? And he's like, Liz, what's going on? And I'm like, who's this? And he's like, oh, it's so-and-so. We're with Cornwall Casting. He's like, where are you at in your life? I'm like, oh, what a mess. I just had a bad breakup with my boyfriend, this and that. Cause I got this show for you. And I'm like, really? no. And he's like, I'm telling you this would be good for you. They never really said it was an actual boot camp. And that's a dating, you'll go on, yeah, I was never a serial dater. You'll go right. on lots of dates, you'll meet all these guys. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be great. I get to have my pick of men, blah, blah, blah. Right. Oh, it was a boot camp. Okay, so for the people that don't know the show, when you say boot camp, what do you mean? Um, it's on VH1. So Steve and Joanne, they have like a, a matchmaking business. Right. And then Steve now hosts a show with his mother, and they take on eight girls. Right. Who have issues. One's husband hungry. I'm the gold digger because I grew up, you know, well, I need okay. a guy with money, mm-hmm. you know. 
Um, Which, so by the way, is that true? Title. You don't, do you need a guy with money? I don't. That's what I hated. When you see the show, you see I don't talk about money. Right. It's just what I was brought up. My ex spoiled me. So they say I, you know, like, she has to break well, Let me ask that. you a question. When you say you don't need a guy with money, that means a lot of things to different people. What isn't a lot of money? Like, when you say I don't need a guy with a lot of money, does that mean he doesn't, he only needs to own one hotel? Like, is, is that what, I don't need a guy with a lot of, or, or are you talking about, he could literally, he could literally work as a dishwasher at a subway. Totally. And you would date him. You'd be his yes. girlfriend. If you spent your- You would come in at the end of the night, at the, the subway closes at eight o'clock. You would walk past the, the, the sandwiches and the meat counter, go into the kitchen, dress like you are now and say, hey baby, let's go out. Oh no, they have to approach me. I don't approach a guy, number but, one. But no, I'm saying, say this is your boyfriend already. Right. You would meet him at work and say, hey, you know, Let's go out. If there was something we, I mean, we only, only make about three dollars an hour, so we can't really oh do my much. God. But, but it doesn't matter to me. It if doesn't. If there was something matter. about him and we got along, we had that chemistry. That's what it all boils really? down to. Because you can't bring money into the bedroom. At the end of the night, when you get in the bed, you can't have that Chanel bag with you. It's about you Is and that, that person. Is that because you have so much money that you have your own money? You don't need anyone's money. I don't have so much money. My family does, but I mean, I'm okay. Do you have access to the, to that vault? Um, no, I better I better be in that will. <laughs> so. So, all right, so we'll get to that in a second. But okay, so you're, you're the one in the show that's a gold digger. That's your right. character. Exactly. A and all these guys from that New Orleans area try to date you. Right. And, and, you, and you get counseled on dating the right kind of guy and changing the kind of people you look for in life. They got mad at me because, you know, when I say a guy, has to, when I say a guy needs money, money for dinner. Right. I don't want to ever pay for my own dinner. If right. it's your birthday, I'll treat you. Right. I just, like, I'm very old school. Open up my car door, bring me roses on a date. Like, that's what I say. Like, you can have a guy that has three jobs. It makes right. $100 a week. But he'll spend that last $10 on you. I'd rather have that than a guy that's a millionaire and screwing around with all these girls and saying, eh, whatever, I could just buy her off or screw her. Right. So, like, and also, you can go rich tomorrow, you can go broke tomorrow. So, it's not really about the money. It's how all about the effort and how you treat me. So, all right, so... Did you find true love on the show? Of course um, not. I actually, I thought I did. The guy literally swept me off my feet. But he was, I but he was did. probably gay, right? Um, no, he had a crazy ex-girlfriend that called me up and said that we were we were sleeping with each other the whole time during filming. So get off, leave my man alone. And I'm like, Whoa. was that true? So the guy you so met it's, on the show and fell in love with was sleeping with another girl during the filming of That's the show. That's what she claims. And when I asked him, he was a lot of gray areas. Uh, uh, and they, they talk all slow, Southern men. And I'm right. like, I'm from New York and I live in Jersey. Like, I need it fast. Like, talk, talk, talk. Who would like, do like, oh. Like, they just are so relaxed. And I'm like hyper. Like, I need that energy. Right. Like, I can't have you, like, talk everybody, like any, Everybody from this area is like that. Whenever you take someone from the New York area and put them anywhere outside of New York, it's like in Twilight Zone. Uh, Everything yeah. goes at a much slower speed. You want to go to LA. I'm like cutting people off on the terminal. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell? I used Who to wants... live in Mississippi. Imagine me in Mississippi. No. Very difficult. Yeah, no. You have to join the KKK. It's all <sighs> kinds of things go on. It's it's so much pressure to live in Mississippi. But that's a whole other story. Anyway, so so this didn't this didn't work out. You didn't find true love. You broke up with him because he was cheating. But I found better. I found myself. That's the lamest the answer I've no. ever heard. You found yourself. I found myself. What does that mean? I'm so used to comfort. I'm, I'm not good with change. Right. And with this show, they put you so much out of your comfort zone. Right. You don't know. They're throwing so much at you. He's screaming. He's yelling at you. You're listening to this guy totally tell you what's wrong. The, the whole world watching. They want to make it interesting. Yes. Yeah. But what, you should have been on The Bachelorette. That's what you should have been on. Right? Ooh, I'm a little too crazy for the bachelor, but that would make for Are me you crazy? Famous. Are you oh crazy? Because you were the breakout star of the show. Like everyone thank talks you. about you. I, I thank you. And you've had offers since that show. Like yeah, I'm the only one. What I'm kind? Of, what, tell me what kind of things going on since the show. Just calendar offers, modeling, magazines. Um, you know. Because you're so beautiful and, and you're a little kooky. A little, but yeah, we'll put it mildly. What is the craziest thing about you? Like, say we were dating. What should I be afraid of? Um, I fly off the handle. I throw things. You have a like temper. To punch. Like you to hit. hit. You're hit a hitter. Men. See, I find that exciting. It is. I would be turned on. Thank you. If you came home and started beating the crap out of me, <laughs> I, I I would say, wait, let me put on diapers. <laughs> and I would put on big diapers, and then you could start punching the shit out of me. 
and that would be the hottest thing in the world. See, we would get You could get me in a headlock, drag me around the house <laughs> by my head, and every time you like, we'd go into the bathroom, the toilet, you'd say, you didn't close the toilet, punch me in the face in my diapers, and then take me to the other side of the room and say, see that dish in the sink? I say we try it out now. Wouldn't that be hot? I say I'm into that stuff. See, awesome. We Me might too. we might hit it off. I'm telling you. Are, are you are you kinky a little bit? A little, yeah. Really? See, why why, why have we never dated? I don't know. We always had this connection. Ex you would exactly. have fun with me. Now, I, I listen. I'm not the best looking guy in the world, and I look yes, so I look so. like I have ke you know chemo. Oh, I'm so pale. I know. That. I know. Oh, I I can't believe you just went but, there. But that's probably Crazy. that I think is a turn on for someone like you because you never see this. You don't associate with people that look like me. <laughs> so to, to be in a relationship with this kind of face and body, I think that would turn you on. I think you're so crazy and kinky that this might be something that... I think you're going to think about me tonight. Um, we're going to go all the way, maybe, you know? <laughs> and, what, and, and why do you look so beautiful? What did you do to yourself? Have you, have you ever done plastic surgery? No. I've got my breast on the middle. You did? You got boobs? Yeah. Okay. You can't tell in this outfit, but... Oh, maybe you can. Okay. You had because you had very little boobs. When I met you, you had no, you had little tiny boobs, right? Well, and you made us wear that shirt where you can't wear a bra. Right. That stepping out. Is that what made you get breast? I don't want to say that. Sorry. No, you can say that. Nobody cares. So, so. <laughs> you, so, so. Can't with you. All right. So you you ended up getting boobs. And yes. It, but it, but it's helped you. It's helped people notice you. It's it's great for like um I have so many photo shoots. They've like gotten so much. It's just great. Really. You have a twin sister. Yes. Is your twin sister jealous over your success? Um, no, she's just happy and she says good for you. Mm -hmm. But like you know, like because we're twins, people come right. to her all the time. Oh, she's the beautiful girl from too. Tough Love. She's gorgeous. Yeah. She's the girl from Tough Love, and she's like, "What is that? What show is that?" Like she's just like brushes off like it's beneath me. Right. That's my sister, though. I mean. But but now you were saying before the show that your family is not into this. Your father is not into this whole thing. They're not talking to me no. So why would you risk the family fortune for, I'm sure VH1 pays shit. What, why, why would you risk the family fortune to be on a reality show? Because I have to be my own person. This isn't the first time. They've, they've like said things where like, you know, if you do this, we won't talk to you. So this is like the 20th time they said to me in my life and really? I'm over it. I'm like, keep your money. Do you have a trust do fund? You. They don't tell us anything. So you don't, you, all right, so you're on a level of wealth that you don't even know. They won't say anything. But you have a credit card. Yeah, they won't say anything. You, so right now, we could go crazy. We could go to Nobu, and you just hand them a card, and somebody pays it. That's all you know. Well, who knows? Oh my God, what a life. Andrew, I you think you found this? your dream, girl. Can you imagine having a life where you have a card, no, I can't. you have a piece of plastic, you don't know who pays the bill, but you can just use it for <laughs> anything you want. I can't that, even imagine it. I can't even imagine that. What is your life like? It's got to be absolutely incredible. No, oh, I, I, I find ways to complain. Trust and if it gets, and if it gets too out of control, you might get a call from an accountant or somebody saying, "Hey, you know, you spent a lot this You're month." You're cut off. Wonder, what's your limit? Like, what can you do? Could you, could you get on a plane right now and go to Jamaica? I can call a guy and get on a plane. And he could pay for it, but no, I can't. I can't. Uh, oh, so a, like a guy? There are guys who, who are so infatuated with you, they would just, you could just call them and they would pay for it. You have like you nothing's have nothing's for nothing though. But they want they want something for it. Right. You would you would have to hook up with them. Oh, no, nothing. They, would they have to go to Jamaica with you, or would they let you go and then when you come back, that's oh you they would have to go with me of course. That's oh when no, you, that's when you did something. No, no, but when 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 I got lost on the island. But can you can you just use your card to travel? Can you? I could, yeah. Really? Yeah. What a life. Do you live at home? No. Where do you live? I live by Belmore. Do you? Do you have a Jersey big? Shore. Do you have a big giant mansion condo? I have a nice apartment. Really? I have a nice apartment. What kind of car do you drive? Oh, Ferrari, I don't have, no, no, Mercedes. like a Chrysler. No, I really? have things in it. I mean, so I'm you're, the type slum, of person, you're slumming it a little bit. I'm the type of person like I'll go to the supermarket and I'll push the car out of my way with the car. With the car, actually, really? yeah, the car to me is a bad investment. Do women come on to you because you're famous now? Even before, but I get a lot of women now. It's a crazy thing for me. Like, I don't know how to even take it. I'm actually like flattered. I'm like, I know how to take it. Wow. Oh, boy. I know where you're going with this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Be honest. Okay. When was the last time a woman came on to you? Maybe like a week ago. And how does that happen? What does she say? You're at an event. 
oh my god, I have a girl crush on you. You were my favorite on the show. Oh my god, I love you. Now she just, so is she just a fan or is she? It, it's a fan. Or if I'm at a club and the girls are drunk, they're like, "You're gorgeous," and they'll grab me and pull me on the dance floor and they'll start to dance. And if sexy. you if you wanted it, you could have it. I don't know. Like I've never experimented. Like you've never like, been with a woman in your life. Guys, ask me, did you even kiss a girl? I'm like, oh my god, no way. Girls you are have, such bitches. I wouldn't even want to kiss. You have them. no desire. No desire. But yet you have a desire to see me in diapers and drag me around the house and punch the shit out of me. So you're dominant, like you're like a, you you can you're into whips and chains and stuff. I could be, but I like the guy to take control. So also. damn hot. I like the guy to take control. So also, you, you can be able to switch. Like some nights, I'm the guy. Yes. Like there are nights I could put a dog collar on you and walk you around the house with a little whip, like a riding crop, and and just give you a a little spanking. And and some nights that would work. But if I spank you too hard. Then you say, fuck that, put your diapers on. And that's when I'm like, Pow. And that's when you start pounding me. I'm crazy. We would have the greatest life ever. Life's too short. And you know what? Please. You wouldn't have to pay me that much money. Like, you, <laughs> you, we wouldn't have to have a life where I would bleed your account. Like, I would be so low maintenance. You know what I mean? Because obviously I wouldn't have to work anymore. So I, I would be home. You'd be out modeling. I would take you to your, your modeling gigs. I would be like your manager. Yes. And when we get home, whatever you're in the mood for, we do. We have a little sushi, and then we watch TV, ha- have some kinky sex. What show? What are we going to watch? We're going to watch, what, The L Word, probably to get us excited. I've never seen that. No, something else. Something like we're, on TV now. We're going to watch Tough Love. Reruns of Tough Love. No, you're not going to watch Tough Love. She doesn't want to watch it. You want to watch yourself on Tough Love? Oh, my God. Me screaming and having outbursts and crying yes. all the time. I was like the emotional one on the show. Oh, my God. I can see you guys watching, like, Castle on ABC. What are they, advertisers? Where did that come no, from? I don't know. That, they gotta be advertisers. No, no, no. Where did that come from? <laughs> just, That's such an say. obscure show to mention. No, you can like, see us watching Castle. Like Grey's Anatomy. I never even heard of Castle. No, you're watching like Grey's Anatomy. What Walk Empire? What? Okay, we'll watch, Empire. We'll watch Boardwalk, Boardwalk Empire. Okay, can we watch that? Absolutely. Boardwalk Empire. I'll watch Boardwalk Empire with you. Can, before it comes on, can we watch The Simpsons and Family Guy? Absolutely, if I can punch you during the commercial breaks. You can, <laughs> you can punch me during the show. Like during the show, you can just slap me in the face as hard as you want. And I'll say, why'd you do that? You say, just shut your mouth. And when I feel like doing that, we're going to do that. That's what I say, though. That's how I am. Oh, we're, 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 we're like soulmates. Oh, my God. That's really how I am. We would be like saying. soulmates. I mean, it would be creepy because if your parents ever saw me, they'd be like, what the fuck is she into? But I think you would be happy for the rest of your life. It'd be a me. happy life. It'd be a happy life. And I would worship you. A good looking guy is always going to be looking over your shoulder at a hot girl. You know what I mean? I always say that. A guy I like me. Say that would lick your feet in a club. I'd be on my hands and knees licking your toes you. while, while you were served champagne. See, and I'd, and I'd be all about you out of, instead of, yeah. That's You'd have to pay I, for it, but I, but I would be the, I would be licking your toes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I couldn't afford that. But but who cares? Who cares? We're not paying, you're not paying for it, I'm not paying for it. It's coming from somewhere. It's so coming from somewhere. It's coming from that magic garden somewhere. <laughs> that magic Indian garden. Absolutely. <laughs> And then when your dad kicks the bucket, whenever that may be, the God forbid, God forbid. let's let's knock knock on on yeah, for Michael. When that happens, you here? and I will buy a yacht, and we'll sail away somewhere. We'll get a house, St. Martin. Okay, I've never been there. Or summers in Nantucket, winters in St. Martin. How's that? Done. House, both places with a slip, a boat slip. You tell me where to spend the money, and I'll just shop. Yeah, and yeah, I'll, I'll take care of all that, that, but I'll be responsible. Okay. Like, it, it, you know what I mean? Like, you won't have to worry. Like, it'll be a beautiful boat, but I know I'll be frugal. Like, we won't get, we won't get, <laughs> we won't get the most expensive chef. You know what I mean? Okay. Like the chef that we use, he won't, he won't be like a um, hundred thousand a year chef. I'll Clay. get, I'll get like a sixty-five thousand dollar year chef oh, that's to perfect. live on the boat. That's perfect. This and is I don't where, eat, this, so this is where you save table. money. See, you're already watching my I'm money. already watching your See? pennies. What a, what a life you would have. <laughs> All right, so you look great. Thank you. You look amazing. Thank you have these incredible eyes, great lips. Thank you. You're Thank probably you. going to be a superstar. There's going to oh. be some sort of reality. Why not? Um, oh, okay. This is what we're going to do. Real Housewives of New Jersey. We're going to get married. <gasps> and we're going to be the next cast members of Real Housewives. You yes. and I. There you go. I'm perfect for that show because I have such a temper. You'd be great. You, you and Teresa going and I hate at it. Women. I hate women. You would hate Teresa. Mm. You'd hate them all. Uh, Melissa, Melissa, 
I never met her. How is she? She's a bitch. You don't need Melissa in your life. What the hell? Yeah, we push Melissa off the show. We would push her off the show. We'd make her life, you and I, so miserable. She'd be done. They'd all be done. The show would be about you, and I'd be in the background counting the money Let's go. and spending it. That's it. All right. Then an episode when she's counting like hundred thousand dollars to buy something, that would be you. What a catch you are! What a fool! What a fool to have lost you. You're so amazing. I love it. I, I am amazing. You are. I am. <laughs> the diaper thing helps. Though. The di- you like but, that? You know. See, I know you like that, <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. Like you could put, you, and it doesn't have to be just diapers. By the way, we can we can explore a lot of things. Like there's a lot of things we can do. I have I have one I have a safe word, which I never used once in my life. Okay. It's called ginger. <laughs> you say ginger and the party stops. But I've oh, never goodness. but oh I say it I'm, but I'll never say it. I have I've never reached my limit sexually. I've never gone so far that it's been too much. I would cha- I would challenge you to take me to that level where I have to use a safe word. Wow. That's how much fun we would have. That's intriguing. That's intriguing, right? My mind's like spinning. Yeah. Turning. Tonight when you go home, when you're laying in I'm bed. I'm going to think of something I'm going to text you. I'm like, what about te- this scenario? Yeah, tonight when you're home, I want you to text me. And I want you to think of, of the wildest things you ever wanted to try. And if I think it's too much, I'll type back ginger. This is going to be my mission. might be my New Year's resolution. Well, How to get Sean Cena. Yeah, this is, we're going to have fun this year. We 2013 are. is going to be a great it's year It's all about you us, 2013. Andrew, are you jealous yet? Sorry. <laughs> we might let you join in. Not, we'll discuss it, though. I'm so angry. No, no, he, no I don't want him. No, no, no. If one <laughs> drop of sweat off Andrew's body fell on me, it would ruin the whole thing. If a bead of moisture dripped off his I forehead. Don't see, he's I, trying to get himself in already. I, I he's already but like, see, he's already trying to get in. He knows the only thing to stop him from getting in is sweating. So now he's trying to sell me on it in five days of sweat. This is how he this is how he operates. But guys, I don't sweat. He I, went he went from being he went from saying, I don't want to be with you guys if Chauncey's there to I don't sweat. <laughs> So now, now, where did that come from? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but see, you know, he works but, for me. but when I, oh. it's, it's not going to help because she already said she would date the guy in the kitchen. <laughs> so that didn't work either. Not when she finds out all the crazy that, that she, you're Have you been listening? This is what she likes. Um, no, yes, yes. Very intriguing. I'm going to talk with her. Ooh, yeah, I need yeah, to know He's something. a cock blocker, by the way. He's oh. a oh, yeah. Nobody, nobody is worse than Andrew when it comes to stopping me yeah. from hooking up. You're not no. the wing guy, obviously. Oh, yeah, he, he's unbelievable. Yeah, he's not the wing man. When am I cock blocked? This is, and this is how he says it. So now he's asking me to tell you he how like he, he so he so he'll say later. But you said it, I didn't. <laughs> this is how slick he is and how he operates. That's why we're ending the show now before it gets <laughs> it, before you ruin this anymore for me. So what do you want to plug? You have, um, you have a website. Uh, yep, it's elizabethwashish.com. Um, no, no, that's no good. But <laughs> you, you, you have to. You have. No I one's gonna smart. be able. To do, no I one's have, gonna be able to do that. I have two domains, so right. elizabethv.net, and it'll bring you to the website. That's better. I already okay. thought of that because I said no one's gonna be like, huh, what? Oh, Elizabeth Washish. Wash this. Wash that. Wa- Elizabeth, like, wash this. All right, and, and the next place we can see you. Where can we see you next? Um. There are things in the works. I am still under contract with VH1. Are you really? Yes. Yeah, so not after the show. <laughs> I think after the show, you're you're a free agent. No. Not so they the own last you. They own you. Episode airs. And when is the last episode? Last the last episode was in Ju- uh, June or Ju- July. So so what? So you're year, free? July. No, 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 no. It has to be one year after. the Oh, last one episode. year after the last episode. So if something oh. good comes along, okay. I'll get a lawyer and we'll straighten that out. Can you watch the show on demand? Can you go of back? Of course. So if you've never seen this show, and you can you watch go it on VH1.com. You can still see these episodes, so people can st- who haven't seen it can still see you. Oh yeah, they still and you're so hot. I'm guaranteeing people are watching this are going to want to see you. Oh, that's great. And, and see how wacky and you really are. And next year it airs in Australia, as far as I'm so, told. So you're so. going to do a whole. So you and I, this is it. You and I will fly to Australia. Why not? I'll book you in every nightclub in Australia. Ooh, I love the nightclubs. We are going to have. We'll drink kangaroo juice and we're the going whole thing. Down under. We're going to go. We're going to go. <laughs> that you and I are going down literally. under. Literally. You know what I mean? <laughs> that statement didn't require you to say literally. That statement was so perfect until you said literally. It didn't require that. Sorry. We all got the joke. Sorry. You didn't have to. You didn't have to say. Oh, let me just make sure people get that. Literally. I love it. See what I deal with? Oh my god. And this is why he's gonna ruin my life after the show. <laughs> I, he's he's actually making notes. What he's doing on his phone. He's actually so he doesn't forget certain things. I've been taking. That he's been taking time. notes for the show. Two minutes. I've been taking yeah. So he has a whole list of things to tell I you want, about me after the show. I want everyone to know that where I'm going tonight, right after this Staten Island 
Big Ange from Beach One's doing a Hurricane Sandy event. So everyone's invited. Are you going to the Drunken Monkey? No, it's um called Angelina's. Ironic. She's going to be there too. Angelina's really? restaurant. It's um in um, Ellis Street in Staten Island. She's on the cover of Metropolis Nights, Big Ange, for Christmas. No way. December, December 1st, Big Ange on the cover. That's so funny. We have to have you on the cover. Oh my God. We'll talk. We'll talk. While we'll I'm talk. in diapers. That will be the, the spread in the center. Tell, tell, tell my girlfriends, both Ange and Big Ange, I said I'm hello. i them, yeah. And um, we'll be back next week, Andrew. We'll be back, eh, maybe, you never know. We'll be back next week. Thank, thank you, Elizabeth my and Wishished so from Wishished from <laughs> VH1 Tough Love. And we will definitely be seeing you soon. Definitely. Stunning Indian kind of woman. You're amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing. All right, we'll be back after this.